Alright, I'll let you in. Oh, there's no brakes. <laughs> I'm so happy to finally start working on this thing. Oh, our hood's a little dented up. Should buff out. Yeah, let's get it in position now because once it shuts off, it's done. All right, keep going back. Go back. That's good. That's it. That's probably the last time this thing's ever going to run like that. Yeah. It's a Poor thing's been sitting outside. We have neglected this car. We should have washed it before bringing it in. Nah, we don't need to wash it. <laughs> We'll wash it one day. Yeah, we'll wipe it down. Here's it. Here, we'll we'll get the engine out. We'll push it out. Power wash the engine bay. Sure, sure. Then we can bring it back in. Get that rotary in there. What's up, guys? Today, we are finally working on Susie, the sidekick here. If you guys remember, we got the rotary engine for this thing put together over a year ago now. And if you look right over here, we have Mr. Vargas himself. It's not my fault, though. I mean, <laughs> it's no, it's Wyatt's fault. Look, no, look, not my fault. I've been waiting on parts, and I don't like having projects. <laughs> it's from it's apart still from in there. <laughs> hey, well, we're fixing that today. So we've had the engine done for this thing for like a year. Me and Mike have both been busy. Yeah. Poor sidekick has been kind of put to the back burner. It's been sitting on the side of the shop for a while now. We got the tires aired up. We fired this thing up, and we pulled it into the shop today because today we are pulling the motor and trans out of this thing to get it ready for the rotary swap finally. So this is the 13B rotary. If you guys need a refresher, it is assembled, ready to go in. Mike actually came over here and brought us a couple extra parts that we needed. Yep. You guys remember when we were at the last Cletus and Cars, we picked up this yep. bell housing adapter from him. We brought the converter to a 5500 stall for the tranny. We bought a shifter and a cable that I had laying around. We had that guy laying so around. Be like so you can get some practice. You can't miss this one, you just gotta pull it. You think I'm gonna miss third in this one? Yeah. I just got a C4. We're probably gonna oh, I, I missed yeah, it. missed it. <laughs> you, missed it. You, you got, got a C4. You gotta you pull this. Third, so. Wait, how's it work? So it's like, first is there, then you pull it, so that's, second, that's and then that's you second, pull, then pull it for third? Then third. I have to pull a handle for third? Yeah. Oh, that's too much work, bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> fell immediately <laughs> so i got this for the so the engine mounts on these are on the bottom so i brought a stock oil pan we gotta clean it obviously but the mounts are gonna go back here so we brought this plate right here that's gonna bolt up to the bottom and then it's gonna, it's gonna have these ears that go forward and then from there we just make uh mounts to the factory points on it so this is so, the semi peripheral yeah intake so, here for more there's horsepowers. Street port, there's bridge port, and then there's like uh, semi purple. So this one's a semi. And that's the best to have? Yeah. Because it, it cools the apex seals. So these got machined to be intake ports now. So if you look in there, you can actually see the inside of the. You can see motor. the rotors in yeah. there. That's really cool. He also brought us this oh, yeah. exhaust flange right here. So we'll be building a turbo manifold off of that guy. We have everything here we need to get started on this thing. So we're going to go ahead and start tearing into the sidekick here. Get this thing ready for its new 13B rotary swap. We're going to pull this thing like you would in a junkyard, baby. Oh, Some yeah. freaking hedge trimmers, sawzall, <laughs> and uh, a freaking acetylene torch. Acetylene torch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say you got a plasma cutter. I got my off. And then whatever the there. cherry pit, whatever's still connected, the cherry, the cherry picker will, will be find the final it. test. Oh, this is the only thing we're keeping, though. Oh, the trailer lights. They go to the yeah. front ball. So you could tow it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, look. Yeah, so, so you could tow it behind like an RV. Yeah, someone who was retired probably owned old Susie at one point. Now look at it. Owned by some kids who are about to ruin it. But it's about to make some sick brap brap noises. Oh, yeah. He's already oh, he's oh Cooper's going. Cooper found the Milwaukee's. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. They're like, we're over here. Let's teach you guys you don't need a big tool for the job. You know, the, the, if you the, know how to use it right, the, the little six tool inch does can, the job. can do work too. <laughs> I've never had to sacrifice, so good luck. No, he doesn't even know how to use it. 
Damn, muscles. Yank it, dude. Hey, you might need this for your motor. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a high revving valve spring right there. Cooper found a baby praying mantis on the back of the sidekick's tire. Let this guy outside, you could hardly even see the thing. Part of the team, dude. Can we go yep. put some bugs for you? It's Jimmy Jr. Only the OGs will know that reference. Alright, got the guys taking everything apart in the engine bay. I just gotta come in here and get the shifter and stuff pulled apart so we can disconnect all this from the transmission to get everything pulled out. I do feel bad for letting this thing sit. It kind of smells bad in here. The uh, back of this thing doesn't seal very good. It got a whole bunch of rainwater back there. There's a whole bunch of leaves from the trees. So definitely needing to give the sidekick some TLC. But uh that's what we're doing here today, boys. So that guy off there looks like we just got a couple bolts holding that shifter boot on there get all those pulled apart get the shifter off and uh we can pull this thing out so a lot of the bolts on Susie here are pretty rusted up i had to just drill this guy off to get the grill off but she is ready to pop right off we're seeing if we can take the front end apart to see if it will make the process of pulling the engine a little simpler and clearing up some room to come right out. So we don't know if this piece is removable just yet, but we're just kind of pulling it all apart and uh, learning as we go. It weighs like absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's that light, it's lightweight drill. It. You're what? Big detail guy? Not my car, not my problem. <laughs> Oh, bent your tip, dude. There she is. <laughs> Easy with that thing. <laughs> you guys hate AC over here. <laughs> oh, watch the bumper, man. <laughs> Freak, you better get that this thing running right. That was there before. This I might be the heaviest thing on the way now. <laughs> this guy. The weight of that thing. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's actually like it's a, it's a steel, steel Well, no going back now. She is out of the sidekick and a lot of cutting and sawzalling was done to get this out. So this engine will not ever go back into this car. No, she done. One hour. I don't want that thing back. Time for the rotary. Damn, bro. Hey, that was you that hit it first. Gotta keep our bumper clean. Yeah, it looks like at all this room. Plenty of space. I think we'll be good. We got enough room to just make it like we can put it in a spot where it's visually appealing. That steering rack is way <laughs> out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, look That's at the steering point. rack design. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, the steering rack comes all the way up to here, connects to that guy, and it's all kind of front steer right off of that. So that should be out of the way. That's we got these mounts right here that we might be able to build off of or that guy down there. Mm -hmm. But we'll just have to see once we get it all in there and mocked up. But it is out. It's officially time to get the rotary into the sidekick here. So we got the engine and transmission pulled out of Susie here. We're going to go ahead and power wash the uh, engine bay out and clean off the rest of the car. Actually, my girlfriend's going to do it because Susie is her favorite. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let her clean this thing off and just kind of get the engine bay ready so we can push this thing back inside and start mocking everything up for the uh, rotary swap. So me and Mike were on our way to Harbor Freight to go pick up a engine support tool for the sidekick to hold the rotary in place. And we started hearing some more slapping from the belt of the FRS here. And we are 
just about to lose our belt, so we stopped at O'Reilly's and we got a brand new one. We're gonna slap this thing on real quick, but we had to cut off a little bit more. The numbers on the belt. Yeah, she was about to let go. Oh, there's the numbers right there. We didn't know what size it. Yeah, we didn't know what size it was. Hey, that wasn't there when we were stopped at Ace Hardware. But yeah, let's get this new belt on real quick, and then we can head over to Harbor Freight. Nice and okay. simple. Well, done. Good to go. All right, so if it fucks it up again, we have an issue. But fresh belt means. All right, we can say that again without saying. Fuck it up. <laughs> If it doesn't, if it doesn't mess it up again, no, <laughs> now you ruin it. Yeah, that's what we need right there. Oh wait, yeah, I'm grabbing the price. <laughs> Grab one of those, a couple other things, and we'll be good to go. Hold up, it has an automatic trunk button. Oh shoot, it freaking works. All right, get that thing in there. Yeah, there's that cold air intake we never put on. All right, guys, we are back at the shop and we have our engine support bar right here. We just got that guy put together. And if you look right here, we have our 13B made it up to the C4 transmission with that bell housing adapter piece right there. So once again, this is not ready to run and drive. We still have to do some work to the transmission. There's not even a flex plate on there, no torque converter, but this is all bolted up so we can get it into the sidekick here and start mocking some stuff up. So we're gonna get her hooked up to the engine hoist here and drop this thing into the car and see how everything's looking. We just got the engine and transmission in. We got our uh, support bar set up here. We got the intake thrown on there just to kind of see where it looks best visually in the engine bay. We had to take the shift selector off the side of the transmission there. It looks like we might have to clearance a little bit inside of the tunnel, but it shouldn't be too bad. Just a couple smacks with the mallet and we should be able to take care of that. What we're trying to do right now is scoot the engine back some just to kind of get it tucked in there a little bit more. We need to clear up some more room in the front for a radiator and the farther back we can get it, we'll have more room to, <laughs> easy there. <laughs> if we also get it farther yeah, back in there, we'll have more room for a turbo and stuff like that. But dude, it looks so freaking good in there. It yeah. looks really good with the intake manifold on with the, the red, white, and blue. Got the Puerto Rican vibes going on right here. So yeah, we're just going to uh, play with this a little bit, kind of finesse it into place where we like it and kind of go from there. But yeah, I think this is gonna be sweet. We got plenty of room other than just oh, yeah. clearancing the transmission tunnel, so. Yeah, we might. I don't even think we gotta mess with this over here because there's two runners coming this way, so. Yeah, we might just we have just... to pop that mount out of the way yeah. and then we'll have plenty of room to build a manifold off of that guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, it's not mounted yet, but at this point she is officially rotary swapped. Just gotta get her bolted up. <laughs> what you think? Sorry. I think it looks like it was made to be in there. It's officially rotary swapped. Yep. Fire it up. Just gotta Let's make some mounts. <laughs> I don't think we're quite there yet. <laughs> That's sweet though. Yeah, we That's got plenty of room. room yeah. Did you try moving that steering? Make sure it don't hit. Um, no, we have not. It'd be a real crappy day when it hits. Bro, that shit ain't going nowhere. I mean, it ain't gonna hit. It's lateral. It ain't gonna hit. You know what that means? Side to side. You don't know what that means. <laughs> See, look at that shit. All right, just making sure. Pull a lot. All right. Yep. None of the steering stuff will be in the way. So I was inside editing for a bit and we were getting ready to work on a motor mount on Susie here. And I come back out and Mike already has this thing done. Been over here welding away and he already painted the yeah, thing. We got a full ass mount right now. Dude, you got that thing that out easy. quick. It's for all the horsepower. Dude, show us where that thing goes. <laughs> you can still smell the spray paint coming off of it. Mm. It's fresh, still warm from welding. Hopefully it didn't warp too much. But <laughs> should ride. So we're going to be going off of this subframe piece right here. We're going to tie it into these existing bolts that go to the front lower control arms. Once he figures out how to get it in there. <laughs> I might have to go up a lot. Do we have to go up with the motor some squeeze her under the pan? Yeah. You didn't have the oil pan on just a second ago. No, so we just got the oil pan on. So we do have to lift it up a little bit to make some room. But the way this uh, mount works is it bolts to the back of the block here, and then you just had some tabs coming off of it. And the idea 
of putting the tabs on the front side here is if we ever have to service the sidekick here, pull the engine out, the tabs being on the front side will make it easier just to pull it up and out of the vehicle. But as far as sticking it up under the oil pan, we're gonna have to finesse it in there, it looks like. <laughs> We'll be, the, we'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just had to go up with the engine a little bit and set her into place. Oh, there are our mounts for the rotary. I am so freaking pumped, boys. The sidekick is getting the rotary. It's finally happening. <laughs> We're long overdue for the fans. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. We announced the rotary freaking a year ago or something like that. We're just now getting to it. I hate giving you guys false promises when we say we're gonna do something and not do it, but we're getting to it. The Dorito man in his natural habitat. I case swap everything and you Dorito swap everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing went so smooth though. I'm like so, so surprised. That mystery machine was. was like way harder. The mystery machine oh, was? Oh yeah. That's way, way, way harder. I think this was made for it. It fits in there so good. Yeah. Now it's officially, officially swapped. Now she's swapped, boy. We got the front engine mount on there. We still do have to make a transmission mount because it's just resting on the factory one. We got a little two by four right there. We think for the transmission mount, we are gonna end up taking this guy off and just making our own completely custom. We might do a tubular one or something like that. But since the transmission does need to go up slightly and where the uh, mounting points are on the transmission, it will probably just be easier for us to start over than to build off of the existing one. And it will look a lot better because it has this you know, weird stuff going on. So we'll probably scrap that, make our own transmission mount, but it's in there. Yeah. She's rotary swap, baby. Well, let's take the, the engine support bar off and show them how it looks on there by itself. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Check it out, dude. It looks so good in there. Well, it sits perfect in there. Dude, it looks so good. Let me step back a little bit. We should have plenty of room. Spoolie boy up here. We're gonna get the exhaust going through there. We're gonna have to clean up a lot of this wiring. We're gonna be pretty much rewiring the whole car, I believe. Get this thing running on a fuel tech as well, which will be awesome. Dude, this is gonna be so sick. Yeah. It's gonna be sketchy. It's a little car, kind of like the mystery machine. I know that was nice. sketch. Look how little this thing is. This is a better engine than the what's on the Mr. Machine. This will make like a lot more horsepower than that. <laughs> I don't know if we need it. Yeah. Uh, My goal one day, we I just, need it. We I want, need it. <laughs> as long as we can take it to the track one day and just pop a little wheelie with it. Yeah, it'll do it. 100%. I say little wheelie now, but no one else is going to go to the back bumper. Yeah. So, we'll try to be safe. But it's got with a her. hitch, so, you know, that'll stop you a little bit. I'll just like, drag the hitch a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit of a wheelie bar. Dude, yeah, the, the wheelbase is so short on this that I think it'll to, do it. We didn't even have to hit the tunnel. No, the no. tunnel was actually fine. Dude, I'm surprised there's no mount kits for this. Yeah. I mean, I haven't really looked anything up because we figured we'd just do it ourselves. I don't think but there is. I don't think there is. It goes in there so easy. I feel like you could swap a lot of small engines into this pretty easily, even a K or something. There's so much room with the way they did that subframe. It's simple. You could easily K swap one of these too, and just right there sideways. I'm not getting any ideas, but we're sticking to the Dorito here. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. I can't yeah, wait. That looks good. That, once it's got that turbo in there, it's going to look crazy. All right, guys, that is going to about wrap it up for today's video. But the sidekick is officially rotary swap. She is in there. Thank you, Mike, for coming by. Um, he's going to be back down hopefully soon. We still have to get some more components together for this thing. Yeah. Like just fuel rails and other rotary Throttle parts, body, fuel rails, little stuff. A little basic stuff, but now that the engine is actually into the sidekick here, we can make a lot more progress. And like we said, the transmission still needs to be uh, built. We still have to do some things to that, get that torque converter over or inside of here. He brought that over as well, but mm -hmm. let's keep going from here. So we're finally making progress on this thing. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too, but she is officially swapped. And I think that's about it for this oh, video, this, guys. The rest is bolt-ons now. Yeah, just start putting her together. And then hopefully here pretty soon, she'll be making some brat brat noises. And we can go and shred some yeah. tires and do sketchy things with this. Got a couple weeks to get it running. Think so? Think oh, a couple yeah. weeks we'll be there? Yeah, 100%. Awesome. Maybe we'll bring it out somewhere. I'm hoping we can bring this thing out to Bristol and do a burnout for everyone that shows up. That'll be sick. That'll be the goal. So, hope you guys are excited for the Rotary Swap Sidekick build. It's finally coming, boys. 
See you guys in the next one.